<laughs> we'll, we'll start a little early before uh, before Frank gets sacked from whatever he was doing. But okay. welcome, Mindy Sports Car Podcast fan. We're live here uh, after practice, second practice. We're pleased to be joined by Spencer Higgins, driver for 45. Yep. Yep. Number 45. Uh, Ray Hall on the land again with Citroen Dual Racing. So you're fine. Go, Frank. Hi guys. Right. Yep, yep. Thanks, Frank. Thanks for being on time. Seriously? All right. Well, sorry about that. Since right. it's so, how uh, let's walk us through your day today. It looks like I uh, put in uh, not quite as many laps, well, as some other drivers, but. Uh, how how was the car today compared to yesterday? Yeah, the car was okay. <clears throat> I think, uh, you know, for sure the first part of the day was a bit better than the, the end of the day. We did uh, quite a lot of outings, but sometimes our runs would be getting cut short by, um, you know, yellows or just wanted to make a change and, and try to improve the car. So uh, we were out on track quite a lot today, I thought. But, um <clears throat> Yeah, in the beginning, the car was pretty good, made some changes uh, and improved it. And before lunch, I thought we were in a pretty good spot. Um, as the track got hotter and conditions got a little bit trickier, um, became a little more difficult. But we, uh, I think, have a good idea of what we need to do. But, you know, obviously, we don't get to really do any race running now until uh, Sunday afternoon. So we kind of switch focus to qualifying. Yeah, it's... Uh... It's definitely will be interesting tomorrow when they up the boost pressure, give you guys a little more speed and stuff. Uh, come, how how was the uh, aero screen really impacted traffic? I, I hear a lot of talk about the aero wash and being able to suck up on cars a little closer. Do you, do you feel that like the ability? And then do you think it's going to lead to a little bit better, more passing come uh, race day? Um, yeah, I definitely feel a difference. You know, the there's a lot more drag on the car with the aero screen, so. Um, you know, the, the general speeds are, are down, I think, a bit from, from years past. Uh, makes it, like you said, a little harder to, to suck up in the draft to get by another car. So that has been a little bit of a challenge. And also, um, you know, following behind other cars seems maybe a little harder this year than in, in past years. So uh, it's just kind of a combination of things that are making it uh, difficult. I'm not sure how it's going to translate in the race uh, next weekend. I think it'll be interesting. I think a lot of it will depend on uh, how hot it is and, and the conditions. Awesome. Well, uh, looks like we might finally be joined by Frank and Missy here. Frank, Technical. are we here? Yes. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Sorry, everybody. Well, welcome. Welcome in. Um, yeah, I don't know what was going on there. <laughs> how, how, how are you, Spencer? Yeah, not bad. How are you? Oh, uh, you know, if I, if I was any better, it'd be a sin, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what's up, Mason? Hi. Yeah. Did they talk about, or is the track conditions, are they hot? Is it hot out there, or? Uh, you know, it's not as bad as I think 
we all kind of thought it would be in August. Um, right. It did get pretty hot today. I think mid to high 80s, and, and the track temp was was quite high. I think around 120. So it is getting hot. Um, you know, it's not 90, 95 like I guess it could be this time of year. Um, so it's you know more or less similar to I think some days we get in May, but. Um, looking at the weather now, it looks like it might cool down a little bit for next week. So um, that'll just make it, you know, nicer for for everyone. It's yeah. like hanging out with no fans. Yeah, yeah, it's a little strange. Uh, <laughs> you know, when you're in the car driving, you don't notice it, but it is, you know, different going into Gasoline Alley and, and no one being there, no one to, to say hi to or or sign any autographs. It's uh, a little, yeah, just it's just strange. It's you know, unfortunate. I think we all would would love for there to be fans, but uh, obviously not not possible right now. So, um, you know, hopefully we can make up for it next year, and and it'll be be packed all the time. We uh, we saw at the uh, Flyers game they or no the Phillies game they made big cardboard cutouts and put them in the stands. Strange, strange looking. <laughs> Did you see that in any baseball games or anything? Yeah, I think I saw that on Sports Center or something. Like, what has the world come to? <laughs> so, but um, so how, how's everything going at, at uh, uh, ECR this year? Uh, I don't know. You'd have to ask ECR. Yeah. Or, um, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> nah. I, Ray Hall. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just woke up like half hour ago. My bad. <laughs> Ray Hall. Uh, how's everything going on at Ray Hall? Yeah, pretty good. You know, I think it's. Definitely a good group of people. Um, I've enjoyed being with them the at the Indy GP and, and now here. Uh, obviously, my car is co co entered with uh, Ray Hall, Letterman, Lanigan, and Citroen Buell Autosport. So um, yeah, we've a good group. <clears throat> it's nice to be working with you know Graham and Takuma, two guys that have uh, got a lot of laps around here and, and a lot of experience. So um, you know, between us, I think we can hopefully make some moves next weekend. And Takuma did pretty well today. He was uh, up there in the top two. Yeah. Right behind Big Shocker, Scott Dixon. Yeah. Well, I did look at, well, compared to ECR, how was it? There you go. See, because I'm not that stupid. I knew you were with ECR. <laughs> I'm just redeeming myself. You don't have to answer that. That was a, a redeeming me. Oh, that's all right. So go ahead, Jared. Jared. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we actually got some uh, viewer count questions coming in here. Uh, first one is, um, what do you what do you think the pole speed or pole time is going to be this year? It's oh well, yeah, I don't know. That's it. I think we're all kind of thinking that we'll definitely have a better idea tomorrow when we get the boost. Uh, it's going to be more boost than we've ever had here in the past, and uh, but you know we have the aero screen that creates more drag. So I, I don't know. I think. You know, we're thinking maybe over 230s, you know, maybe 231 if someone's really flying. Um, and I don't know, maybe faster. I, I really don't know. So um, we're going to find out tomorrow just how quick we can go. What, what, sorry, yeah. you know, one of the things I know, because you said the aero screen does increase the drag, and it surely does. But one thing I noticed, like right near the end of the session, um, Scott Dixon and Rosenquist went out and added on a little bit more, like, rear – rear wicker like covering the yeah. whole team is, is that yeah. something you're going to see play like the race i don't know how sustainable it is for qualifying but do you feel like it's adding more to the rear is helping balance out the increase at the front um well nothing's really changed at the front of the car um but you're right people are adding down for us so those those rear wing wickers there's a few options you can have nothing you can have a small medium or the full span like um, the Ganassi cars tried. So, uh, you know, it just adds overall downforce to the car, but it also adds drag. So you kind of have to balance, you know, the more downforce allows you to fall closer in the corners, but the draggier the car is, the slower it is down the straightaway. So in the race, it's going to be kind of a fine balance between who can, you know, have as, as little downforce as possible, um, but still stay close and be able to pass uh, and in qualifying you won't see any of those on the rear wing for sure <clears throat> everyone will be um, you know just going for outright speed rather than downforce and you know drivability and traffic so um, everyone will take those off tomorrow for sure and, and we but I think maybe on Sunday and, and carb day you'll see probably more people with those uh, big rear wing wickers than, than there were today and uh, 
another, we got one other question coming in. And some of it, you, I answered the track dynamics for it being late summer versus early summer in May. Like, how different is this three months been on, like, basically the dynamics of the track? Yeah, I'd say that, you know, the past few days have been kind of like a, a pretty hot day in May. Um, you know, it's not as hot as I think we thought it it would be you know it's not in the 90s like it has been here in indy um you know some days in in july and, and earlier in in august but um so it's a little cooler not quite as different as as may as it could be so um you know so far it's not been too much of an adjustment frank you got anything i'm just wondering about the wind direction to be honest with you there's not been much wind actually it's been been pretty nice uh, you know, sometimes in May it can get really windy, but so far I think we've had maybe five or six mile an hour winds, but nothing, nothing really affecting the cars. So it's like going into turn one or turn three should be pretty much equal. Going yeah, more or less. Ones. Yeah, more or less so far at least. Yeah. Music. Pass. <laughs> the interview guru over here, everybody. <laughs> Missy, <laughs> you have any question at all? It's Spencer. You can ask him whatever you want. Uh, yeah, I know. It, this, Spencer, do you have? Never mind. No, go ahead. I was just gonna say, do you have a girlfriend? Don't answer that. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> whatever. No. Do you? <laughs> yeah, I do have one. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> I don't know. Did they tell you th their big news? Um, it's gonna be a boy. Yeah, oh, um, cool. yeah, baby linker. He's oh, <laughs> Thank you. Nice. You know, in case that uh, they give shine any light on the hostilities in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens. Over headphones not working. Yeah, it's stupid, isn't it? <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not mine either. <laughs> baby fault. Well. Yeah, another quick question. This knowledge you made the switch from Chevy. Honda, how much? How much have you noticed any sort of real difference between the two? Uh, I noticed a lot on the road course here at Indy more than the oval. Um, I think this year at the oval, that so far they seem to be pretty equally matched. Um, but on the road course earlier in uh, July, I definitely felt different with with Honda. It seemed to you know, just kind of put the power down a little bit better. Um, maybe add a little bit more power on the, the bottom end to get out of the corners. So um, that was that was pretty cool, pretty nice to see. And uh, But, yeah, so far here at the Speedway, it uh, hasn't really felt too different. I don't know if Jared asked this already, but is, I'm assuming you feel a difference with the arrow screen? Yeah, I mean, visually there's not much of a difference, uh, you know, issue which is nice you, know, you kind of forget it's there um when you're looking out of it but it definitely is a bit hotter um you know it's it's just not as much airflow uh, and it gets pretty dirty actually on the the oval so um, we do have tear offs on it so during the the race during the pit stops the guys will be able to to take a tear off off and and clean it which will be nice because uh you know when you're behind behind even just one car you know rubber gets kicked up dust gets kicked up and it kind of um, it gets pretty dirty pretty quickly, so uh, that's kind of the main thing, just the temperature and then uh, just trying to keep it clean. Uh, have, have, have the uh, aero screens played any uh, sort of uh, part in uh, restarts or anything where people kind of mistake what's right in front of them for not be either being, being there or going for it faster or, or something because uh, there's been a few, you know, foul-ups during the restarts, the, uh, which game, I'm wondering. They might have to do with uh, arrow screens. You think? Uh, I don't think the they impact the restarts at all. No, I mean it's you know just like I said, visually you don't really notice it's there for me at least. You know you kind of forget about it once you're driving, um, so it doesn't really impair you in any way. I don't think. So no. you say that like the big pillar right in the middle of your face, you, you just kind of, you see right through it. It doesn't yeah. phase you at all. Yeah, exactly. That's good. Cause that, that was one of the bigger questions. Like, especially when I racing, you look at it and it's so big right there, right? Yeah. The you yeah. think when you get Very in the car, is it that 
big of a note. Uh, also, in, yeah, I know what you mean because I kind of felt that in eye racing as well. But in eye racing, it's, it's visually, I think, a little different. It's just like a just a solid thing in the middle of the screen, right? So when you're like looking out of it with your eyes, you kind of like. I don't know. You don't really pick it up as much, I don't think. I mean, I mean, like, I guess because your head's not, like, directly similar, you're kind of, like, to the yeah. side of the right a lot of the time, right? Yeah. I mean, especially for Indy, what would it be to the right, I guess? Yeah, right. a little bit. Yeah. That makes sense. And I guess so, we've got another a windscreen question here. So, I don't know how many laps the longest stint you've ran or anybody's ran, but do you think you, you could ever see an instance where your aero screen got so dirty that you got a pit early to get a tear off and get it clean? Think you uh, get that sort of situation happening to anybody? You might want to, but I don't know if anyone will. Um, you know, I don't know if it'll get up to a point where you physically can't see out of it. I highly doubt that, but it'll get to a point that it's annoying um and frustrating but uh, you definitely wouldn't sacrifice your strategy or or anything to to get a, a tear off pulled yeah i think that would be the radio communication of the day if, if somebody asked for that over the yeah over, over, over the yeah, like uh yeah you know, like hey uh, i need to come in i can't see <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, think that, I think that would be going around a bit more <laughs> yeah that, that could be a problem yeah, I think that would be like. Yeah, I, I don't see it getting that bad that for anybody, unless no. it was like an accident in front of them and you got fluids all over. Yeah, them. yeah. I mean, that I mean could that's happen. really about the only about the only way is that you have that. What kind of fluids? Aren't they all kind of clear? I mean, we're talking about oil, maybe. Yeah, if you get oil, or I mean, yeah, but who who can't see through a couple, you know, layers of oil? I'm used to it going to work. I don't know about most people. <laughs> I don't. I don't clean my car. Every every time I do, I crash it. I'm still bother. What's the problem? You know, it's not the point. Or it breaks down. One of the two. But if you never wash it, it'll work forever. Um, <laughs> and then it looks like we got another one. Like how about the side vision. Like I don't know how often you're looking out, the, like turning your head left and right. But is it uh, impact that at all? Like disorientation from looking around? No, no, it's fine. I mean the. The screen comes kind of past where your helmet is anyway, so it's it's clear. Uh, like I said, visually forward or, or side to side, it, it hasn't had any impact on me. Um, you know, sometimes you can get a little bit of a glare, I guess, but, um, you know, that's about it. I mean, like, as far as side to side, that brings up a good point. Do you rely on your spotter a lot more at, at, at Indian Bio and, like, places like that? Do you, do, you, do you rely on your spotter a lot more than actually, you know, physically turn your head to look? Or, I mean, okay, you can't turn your head that much in, in the car to look, but, you know, like, in, like, in your mirrors, but do you, do you rely on your spotter more? Uh, yeah, you definitely do. Um, more than, you know, other tracks like a road course or street course. Um, you know, I think at Indy here you have to – listen to your spotter but you do have to keep an eye on your mirrors because you know at the end of the day the spotter isn't driving the car and, and you have to make the final decision so you're kind of you know keeping an eye on on everything that's going on around you and also hearing what they have to say at the same time right so so like the term well well my spotter didn't tell me you were there should never be uttered <laughs> yeah i don't know there's always uh <laughs> sometimes you it, i guess yeah. our uh do you have two spotters, one at each end, or do yeah, you... it's it's mandatory to have one in. Okay, yeah, I can remember it was mandatory or not to have one at each end. Yeah, yeah, it's those spots filled good. already. It's a very good thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, if, if if you know any driver that has you know one of their spotters drop out and they need that second guy, just give me a call. I'll be right there. Just give me a call. <laughs> yeah. yeah I like a half day's notice, and I, and I, I, I will be there. <laughs> and I, I don't, I don't foresee that happening. There's plenty more qualified <laughs> readings than Frank. What's I'm your? Just it's not the, good. Oh, it's bad. You kidding me? It's terrible. It's yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, we we wish you well, Spencer. We're uh, we're very happy, very glad that you were able to come on. And uh, sorry yep. about the tardiness on <laughs> Frank's part. It's all Frank's fault. Spencer, no, I just want to say this, Spencer. This is your sixth time on the show. Is it? Right? 
And since you're since your indie lights days, right? Yeah. And I remember the first time you came on, you were like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be in indie lights. Don't have I, I have no aspirations of winning this year." Not yeah. That, that, that was that, that was you, buddy. And, that, and now look at you, man. I'm <laughs> real. We're really really proud of you, bro. Thank you. And, yeah, um, good to see you guys, and nice talking to you. And um, yeah, good luck and good luck with the baby, and oh, thank you. talk to you guys again soon. Yeah, thanks. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank See you. Later, Spencer. That was fun. Yeah, it was good to be able to check in with Spencer. I mean, like I said, this is sixth time on the show from back in his indie Lights day. That's many, many years ago, right at the beginning of the show. Same with Ed. Uh, I think Ed Jones is, a, is another story. Just the same, man. Like, um, I think him and I think Ed Jones and Spencer Piggott were on about the same week. Like 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 week after week, you know, right? When, I think it, so because we were doing like a a segment where we did like a road to indie, like champions, not champions, but like um uh, the road to indie. Yeah, yeah, like we called it the championship. No, no, edition. it wasn't champion. They were um, I guess just in the running for the championship. Yeah, that's how we called the championship edition. Yeah, we called it something like that. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah I suck. So it it was. Yeah. Anyway, well, so, I guess you want to go that route. You can do Ollie. Ollie's been coming on since his USF uh, yeah. 2000 days. Ollie's first show was Rob Howden goes, "You should have this guy Oliver Skew on," and we went, "Who?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This kid's good. Who, who knew who just how good he was? Yeah, but see, I knew enough at that point to just never question Mr. Rob Howden. Yeah, never question Rob. <laughs> so we just said, okay. And now look at him. <laughs> Oliver Skew, the, the man that, that said uh, MRTI what? Who? <laughs> oh, yeah. That three span of my life, that was just a winning blur. <laughs> yeah. And, and Pato Award, the guy that looks at his teammate and goes, how did you manage that? <laughs> I've had to. Do you know how many times I've had to get down on my? Never mind. <laughs> Cut that part out. <laughs> anyway, um, welcome to the Indie <laughs> Sports Car Podcast, where the hosts are always late <laughs> and nothing works, yeah. while a guest is on waiting for them to get their s together. Yeah. No, I forgot to charge my things. I was they were plugged was in. I they were really charged. hoping that you could have plugged in and charged are not two different things. If you have them plugged in, they're on. They, were plugged in. they have a 40 hour lifespan for crying out loud, but you cannot leave them plugged in. <laughs> anyway, if anybody has beats three freaking, you know. Uh, over the ear headphones that are wireless but can also plug in like I'm using them now since they're charged. Um, you know, make sure the them you know they make sure the puppies are charged before you before you plug them in. Uh, I, I just prefer uh wired headphones are better because yeah, you've yeah. never you've never used a pair of Beats 3, sir. No, Studio edition. Beats three studio edition air like I used to say the same thing, and then I and then ask Missy, Missy, do you wish you had your Beats three studio editions on or what? Yeah, sure. See, she she it, that's a face of wishing she had her Beats three years on. <laughs> you should with the amount of money or. You have problems with what I the equipment I use, so then I just say, okay, sure, whatever, and then I get these Beats headphones that I just you know. Assume they were plugged in, so they were charging. They were plugged in. You're right. They were. I don't know how you thought they were charging, but that's where I don't understand how women's minds go. You're very, very smart until a certain plateau, and then you drop in intelligence and and logic. Huh? I watch yourself, Frank. Oh, I've already thrown myself off the cliff. You kidding? This is me on the way down saying whatever. Well, you want to um, uncover some uh, news here? Oh, brother. Here we go. All right. Yeah. Hold on one second. Yeah, no, uh, hold on one second. I have, you know, Frank has to go to the bathroom, so can can, okay, yeah. can the news yeah, wait one second? Yeah. 
All right. You, you and Missy talk, talk about something, and I'll be right back. Okay. I haven't watched any of practice, so I haven't had any practice at all. I haven't had time. You know, it's a little hard when you work in a doctor's oh. office to, you know, watch IndyCar practice. Yeah. That, that, that happens. You get better. You just gotta watch it on your phone. Well, there went there went uh Missy's audio. Not sure what Frank touched. But there went Missy's audio. <sighs> yep. And of course, when I go to press this, what the? Doesn't seem to want to work. I I don't. It says your mic isn't connected. Oh, maybe now. I, I don't know. It's awesome. So we like to hear. I can see you. Can't hear anything. I, I can't hear a single thing out of you, Frank. Can the viewers hear, hear Frank? Oh, hold on. You just got really, you just, I can barely hear you. What? I can barely hear you now. All I hit was record. Well, I can, you're incredibly quiet. And for like a minute before, I couldn't hear anything. How about now? Oh, it's still really quiet. Like, I mean, whatever, I don't know what you did before, like whatever it was before, before you started. I just went into settings. I don't know. You just you now you're like really super quiet. I don't know, man. Yeah, people are saying they can't hear you at all. So I get it, everybody. Calm down. You know, it's because I have three different. Hold on, I need to go back into sound settings. I don't oh, know what's that's going a lot on. Better now. All I'm hitting is settings. I'm just going into settings. That's all I did. <laughs> that's all I did. <sighs> Am, am I am I back? Is that fine? Yes, it's better. And I hope everybody else can hear. I don't understand what that was. I missed. Did you see what I hit? I clicked. I wasn't I, really looking. Of course. Well, I was just hitting cam and mic. The the cam and mic settings. You see, that's all I did. Now it's probably going to go out again. Can you hear me? Just fine. I hear you. All right. Maybe if I keep clicking on it, it'll get yeah, better. They people can hear you now. Yes, thank you, everybody. It's good to be heard. Okay, maybe I can record this now, and it won't get all screwy. <clears throat> Since I haven't been recording yet, I'll have to get the recording off you, Jared. It's all going to be on our YouTube page, our Facebook page. If you can view it on demand on Periscope, we're also on the Hot Mic app. We are. Oh everywhere yay yay all right there is it, it hello testing testing okay great it hears me is everything okay nothing got screwed up nope we can still hear great missy testing missy testing and we can hear missy too yay here we go missy sounds better than she ever has actually <laughs> serious you do it's not a cut <laughs> okay you guys talk about whatever i'm gonna go pee finally because you know you know ho hopefully me not getting up screws this up so probably will <sighs> technology i love it hmm. 
Oh, yeah. No, I haven't watched any practice. I haven't had a chance. Yeah, yeah, it sucks when you're stuck at work. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would if there was no doctors or something in the office, but, you know, it's hard when there's doctors in the office demanding things of you and patients calling all the time, you know, wanting their birth control or something. I mean, right. I actually I, I should know. I'm trying to watch the practice. I had originally had vacation <laughs> taken to take today and tomorrow off so that ah. hopes that I could actually be there. Mm. in person to do this stuff but can't so i'm here I, I still kept the days off because why not yeah why not so we'll, i'll be here all day tomorrow probably gonna do a little more streaming tomorrow There's a lot more press conference press conferences mm-hmm. okay yeah. did i see uh, fernando crashed yes that uh we're gonna cover that in our uh in some uh- here. Oh, is that the news? That I'm yeah. Yep. Let's say get a Dick leads day two. Crashes. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't watch yesterday only because um it was Flyers playoffs, so Yes, yes, I figured as much with the yeah. Flyers. Uh, yeah, so go Flyers. Right. One we took. Yeah. With our young goalie that just turned 22 today. Because <laughs> that's all I seem to want to talk about. He's only 21. He's got no experience. You just, what, 3-0 in the playoffs so far? <laughs> With a 1.00 goal against average. <laughs> hey, yeah. It's good year. yeah, you guys are doing pretty good at the right yeah. time. Well, let's hope it lasts, you know. I watched the um, the five-overtime game the other night. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. I mean, it started at 3 in the afternoon, didn't finish till like, 9.30 at night. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was pretty long. That's a heartbreaker to lose, though. I'm like, oh, man. It, like, can they just, like, say that it's done, like, two? Like, that, like the next game is game three or something? Not in the playoffs. Nope. It's playoff hockey. There, there's no shootouts. Exactly. It's gonna suck, though, to lose after five overtimes. It's just depressing. And that was your game one. Right. Yeah. That stinks. Piece of garbage. Hey, that worked. It's just talking about Frank. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. That doesn't smell very good. Oh wow! Yeah, Missy, it's a hot dog. Yeah. With uh, with breading on outside, it's called a corn dog. Mm. Although I don't know how much corn's in it. It's whatever. What? Great time, yeah. for being Frank. Hey, come on, Opie. Way to be eating on 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 air, Opie. Only now there's a camera on you, Opie. Would you like me to burp too? <laughs> yeah, yeah well, that's coming next. No, it's not. I'm not that bad. Yeah. I've been doing this for 18 years. Well, you guys want to get in some uh, news here? A little breaking news. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Missy's headphones are charged now. Oh, are they? Yeah, you know, these headphones are awesome because they charge so fast. I'll say, um... Here you go. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, God, it's you. Hi. Hi, legit hey. any news guy. Wait, you're just a legit any... At, you gave yourself a Twitter name? Oh no, he's got a Twitter. I don't Twitter now. I, I mean, I'm not quite sure what the Twitter is. Oh my goodness! Oh, you, and you also need a new oh, microphone. It involves. Uh, sorry, someone told me it involves using this typewriter with a television on it. <laughs> You're on Twitter, really? Yes. That's At awesome. Legit indie news. Why am I so much louder now? Oh my goodness! Oh, uh, that's why. Okay. 
<clears throat> wow, those those earbuds really cancel out the uh like it's it's weird how much that's crazy. Do you, do you can you say can you hear everything, Muzzy? Yeah, I can hear you. Now tell me that's not a better listening experience. Yeah, it is. Oh she's yeah <laughs> <laughs> anymore. Oh, there we go. That's better. Yeah, I'm here. It, she is the, real, the real draw of the uh, show. Oh, it's because oh, yeah, of Frank. It's Missy's kryptonite. Hot dogs. And it's also, Frank, there is no, uh, according to a Josh Farmer, who would probably know, being a farmer himself, there's no corn in a corn dog. I didn't think so. Uh, Missy, no corn in a corn hot dog. Take it from a farmer, he would know. I, whoa. Think else. <laughs> Knock it off, Frank. Okay, okay. I'm taking out the room. I, I forgot she hates corn. She hates she it's not the corn dog, it's the hot dog. It's just made worse now because you know the sensitive smell. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah. You know. Well, I can't help it. People would have seen me should not be eating on camera. No, that too. But um, any longer I had, would have had to leave because you know I don't want to puke on air. We don't want you to. Yeah. I guess we uh, had practice today. Yeah, it's better. A long six and a half hours of practice. Mm. Lots of tires, lots of fuel. No spectators. Unless you had NBC Sports Gold. I do. I should really watch it. Just put yeah. it on my phone. Just get like some earbuds and at the very least you can listen if you can't watch. Uh, again, it's kind of hard to listen to patients complain when they call. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The earbuds and listen to the answer in the phone. <laughs> Just tell them that the race is on. That, that there's practice. That you waited a 15 months for this. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that'll go over well. I mean, I just got done waiting like five years during the war for the race to come back. <laughs> you really have a Twitter now? Yes. Oh. At Legit Indie News. <laughs> I can't believe Only you. Legit Indie Car News. Are you following me? Did I follow you? Yes. Oh, no, did I? Yes. No, oh, I did. We okay. followed each other. Oh, okay. Well, that's good, I guess. Yeah. But yes, uh, some as we were talking, as somebody was talking about earlier, with a can a nice young gentleman from his fancy motorhome. <laughs> but we had a uh, somebody named a Scott Dixon, fastest today, little cheetah, comes out <laughs> at the end with a extra long rear wing wicker and then just sets fast his lap just like that hmm. gonna see a lot all that he's had some experience but then another another fast one the takuma sato hmm. he's uh pretty sure he's won before for him. him to be fast again and not quite sure who this the name is but underneath is, is, is I, I like the andretti name I, I know a good mario andretti he's a nice young lad up and coming through the ranks but who's this marco andretti yeah, he needs a little work it's only practice <laughs> well you're talking about practice not the race, but practice. Practice. I'm talking about practice. Yeah. But the name underneath it, Akana Daly, hmm. he's pretty good. We like him. Yeah, he's all right. Uh, so, uh, Alex Palo is a rookie in fifth. Hmm. That's, hmm. that's awfully impressive. Yeah. Straight out of rookie orientation yesterday and right up to fifth on the speed charts. Now, another uh, Colton Herter, 
He's not quite a rookie, but he also had the fastest no toe lap today. The little over 100, 221 miles an hour. I see a cat. Meow. No, I think that was the dog. Cat's gray. Oh. <laughs> Look like a cat. Was oh. it like a wiener dog or something? <laughs> he is. He's a dachshund. Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Where did Frank go? Who knows? This is this is very embarrassing, I have to say. Very embarrassing for the people who do this. To have somebody be late, wake up mere minutes before the show starts. Tell me about it. Yeah. So who's after Alex Polo? Uh, Colton Herder, and then a Charlie Kimball. Hmm, okay. A, a lot of interesting names up here. And then a, a Fernando Alonso. Hmm. That's a, a very, very Spanish name. Ole. <laughs> but I, th- I think something else happened with, a, uh, with him today. I think it was something like this. Well, it's just going around the corner. Oh, 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 what's what's it? Oh, that's so good. Go below the white line. Yeah, I'm sure why. That's gonna happen every time. Oh, that, that might explain. <laughs> that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Yeah, in your, where your mouth is a little, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Watch that again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you notice here, he clips the inside line there. Which then, oh, well. Yes, touches that white, goes way over the white line. I believe that's a no-no at uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Maybe this will work a little better. Yep, touch the line. Oh, oh, there goes. Oh, there's a wall. And then let's just. I mean, you gotta you gotta pit anyways after after you make contact like that. So let's just slide down pit lane oh. and oh. come to a stop. Perfect timing. Very quick yellow flag for such a large accident. <laughs> Yeah, that was. <laughs> I'll slid down right down pit lane. Wow, that's that's great. <laughs> yeah. And car. The safety team was right car. there. Like came to a sliding stop right in front of the safety team. <laughs> a couple pit stalls short of uh whoever was at the back of pit lane, the furthest car back. Is there gonna be a um? Is there a bump day or, or there's no bump day? No, there's only 33 cars this year. So mm. there will be no such thing as bumping. Mm. Boo. 2020 stinks. But uh, some more names here down the, the list. Uh, James Davidson in ninth. Wow. That's a good, that's a good uh, name to see there. Oh, G, G Frank, thanks for... Uh, Thanks for showing up for your podcast. <clears throat> my, my body's not used to this timing. Oh, 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 you mean being awake? It's not used to being awake? Is- the sun's out, yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> you only, have, only knew all day that we were recording tonight. If you call us tonight. I'm kidding. So, uh, I I didn't mean to cut you guys off. C- continue. No, we just go through the running order of practice. We and see then we to to crash. crash into a wall and slid down pit lane. I, I, I guess we can we can show for, we can show this uh, we can show somebody this piece of garbage. 
show it again. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're you're getting really good at that stream deck, legit indie car guy. Or yeah, legit... see, see as Alonzo goes and whoopsies the white line and hits that little concrete patch, and then he's like, "Oh well, since I crashed, I gotta go return to pit lane." So let me just <laughs> slide down pit lane to uh to deal with that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the way you said that. I don't know why it's so funny. I mean, to me. that's a Formula One world champion right there. Some skills. No, that's not what that means. <laughs> it means he was in the best car that year. Oh God! Yeah. Hey, you know, after I did that, I figured let me return this to pit lane for <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what he did. It's like, oh well, if, I, if I'm just gonna just gonna drive it not only over the yellow of the white line, but onto the concrete where you know where it's angled, so when your tire comes back over, it just completely loses grip, and then it is right into the outside wall. And it's like, okay, well, let's just go back to pit lane. <laughs> the closest thing you can do to hitting the reset button. So I've been doing often lately. My, I'm about to lose my A license. Nice. Nice. Well, it's, it's more through the, the list here. Uh, an Oliver Askew in 10th. Pretty good speed out of him and that team. And some other names are Ryan Hunter Ray, Renus BK, Jack Harvey. Oh, look at this. Tony Kanan, very fitting in 14th, considering he's driving car number 14. Ooh, that's 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 some wacky stuff right there. This is last year, that old man makes me look young. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you young? Or I mean, you... it depends. I was born in 1932. I, 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 this is my first job, though. My first real job. The age of 17. Oh, that's good. We hired you? So, yeah. so, Did so, we hire you? Who hired you? I mean, I, it's an I, intern. I, I thought you hired him. I thought you did. I, thought you did. I was told this was an internship. It is. You're not getting paid. Yeah, no, no, definitely no money involved. Oh, no. I, mean, no. I, only, I only asked for... Eight cents per episode, which is oh. a good, which is a pretty fair fair wage in 1949. You still have me so confused at what year you're in. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 is this not 1949? No, it's 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 2020. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Uh, you tell me. You came into our world. I didn't. I didn't go back in time. <laughs> and like a few weeks ago, I just I went to bed and and I woke up and everything everything was in color. <laughs> like yeah, I, everything is wrong here, buddy. Black and white. I myself am just a black and white man, but everything that was in color. Y yeah. You know, things were in color back then too. It's just the the film that was in black and white. Oh, wow. So whatever. Yeah, moving on. Uh I just looked at your uh Twitter. How do you have 23 followers already? <laughs> he said I'm one of them. Secret. I don't remember following. Ancient me. Chinese secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Quite possibly uh, repurposed an existing Twitter account into a new one. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Um, um, okay. So, yeah, continue on. on. So, we're, so, we're at 14th. So, that means yeah. we have. 15th is a Zach Veach. Okay. Uh, young strapping man who is just the real sign of masculinity. <laughs> I think that's no, our still, still Go ahead. faster than this. Hello, Castro Neves. 
<laughs> yep, that's what I say to him. I say he hello. Hello, Elio. Lots of lots of interesting news about him and some rumors about next year. Which are? That uh he's wants to come back to IndyCar full time, the old man. That's not a rumor. He said that since the second he they told him he was going to IMSA. Now he's actually negotiating with teams not with Roger Penske. That's because Penske is ending his IMSA and Acura deal. So he might not be in IMSA next year. Acura will be, but Team Penske well, won't be. Really. What's the point in talking about sports cars? There, well, there was no point to begin with. I'm just letting you know that, um, you know, that's a lot of reason why Elliot was probably trying to get into IndyCar like really bad next year is because he won't have a ride anywhere. I guess his uh, contract with Penske is up this year. Yes, it is. But yes, yeah. came down the order a James Hinchcliffe, only in 17th after being, I believe, fastest yesterday. Or at yeah. least very fast yesterday. Who is he racing for this year? A, uh, Andretti Autosport with Genesis sponsorship. The band? No. Okay. A, uh, <laughs> company. A business. Is, it, is there a difference anymore? I mean, I, I, there was one time when a band sponsored a race car. Yeah, that really awful band. Bon Jovi. Journey. Journey. Yeah, close enough. Close enough. Yeah, yeah close enough. There's just, journey. just as bad. I believe it. Yep. Yeah, hold on to that feeling. Um, I say born and raised in South Detroit. They're actually talking about Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up. Look at the map. You know what's south of Detroit? Canada. <laughs> you know it's north of Detroit? Canada. Yeah. It's the only place in the world where we need to look south. It's Canada. Not it's the only. America. Not the only place. Only in, the only place in, in America. The entire state of Alaska. That doesn't count. How does that not count? Because <laughs> they're sideways. There may even be a point where no part of Alaska juts into Canada. Can we move on? Yes, let's move on. Yes. Oh, hold on. I, I I need to be. I guess I am corrected here that Aerosmith. This farmer guy says that Aerosmith <laughs> was Jeff Ward in 2001. I'm not, not sure why a farmer would be inside <laughs> while the sun is still up. I mean, these, these long summer days are made for the fields. <laughs> I can't take this character anymore, dude. I just keep laughing every time you talk. <laughs> I mean, I really hope that the uh, the the listeners out there are actually able to watch this on demand because it's very much a visual medium. Well, no, that's okay. I I learned how to take screenshots, so uh, there'll be screenshots oh, on Twitter. We like screenshots because moving on down the list after. We got a Joseph Newgarden, who is my favorite to win the Indy 500. Mm -hmm. Which uh, I I would be bet uh, if I were a betting man, I would be putting money on Joseph Newgarden. In fact, we, we're probably going to be having a special episode next week where we talk about the gambling on the Indy 500 and all the different lines and who you should bet on. At which point I will then go over to a casino and place some bets. There you go. Hey, uh, can you make yourself full screen there, indie legit news guy? Yes, please hold. Thank you. Okay, I got the screenshot. You can go back now. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That's all I want to do is screenshot that so I can send it out. That's fun. Oh, okay. 
Yay. Now I don't know how to get out of this. How do I get out of this? Uh oh. I need to learn more about this. Yeah, this is a this is a lot of fun. Yeah. Hold on, oh, oh, let's have Joseph Newgarden is a Graham Ray Hall. There we go. Kind of <laughs> Graham would have done a little faster. Well, look, I mean, he he's he's so aerodynamic too. Well, I mean, because I mean, if Takuma Sato can go so much faster, why can't Graham? But then again, I'm sure Graham didn't didn't really uh, throw a whole lot of downfalls on the rear of the car, which seems to make cars faster. Maybe. Then after that is a Santino Ferrucci. Very, very a- Italian sounding name. It like is. Fettuccini. <laughs> Santino Fettuccini? Yes. Then we got a Spencer Piggott. I, I, I heard that uh, we that somebody was just talking to him not too long ago. Missy. Yes. And then a, a Will Power. It's an awfully good name for a race car driver. I thought so. And, and a baby's name, but I was shot down. I would, I would hope that how are you gonna name a baby Will Power if your last name is Linka? Well, you know, Will Power Linka. What kind yeah. of is that? It was a great name, I thought. But no. somebody <laughs> Thank you, legit indie news guy. Yes. Moving <laughs> on. A uh, Felix Rosenquist. 24th, Marcus Erickson, Alexander Rossi, Simon Paginode, Dalton Kellett. I did see an interesting stand, Dalton Kellett. Of if you did a 15 lap average, like ran 15 laps in a row, he was in the top 10 for a 15 lap average, which is pretty good. He's both yesterday and today for. For someone like Don Kelly, a rookie like that on a one-off team coming from Indy Lights. Well, he... Up that road to Indy. Well, yeah, I mean... Good. He's got how, a shot. Yeah, but in... I mean, Missy, how, how many how many uh, Freedom 100s did Don Kelly run in? The last five I can remember? It's been a few. He... I wouldn't call him much of a rookie to this track since they're only doing 10 miles an hour or lower. Yeah, about 20. Oh, let's cut hairs now. Yep. <laughs> and then after that, a J.R. Hildebrand. Uh, hey, and- did J.R. Hildebrand talk to Fernando Alonso on how to do what he did late yesterday? What was that again? I do not remember. All right, okay. Sorry. He hit turn four. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Only uh, JR didn't go over the line. He just passed somebody when he didn't really need to. I, I believe that was Charlie Kimball. Probably. It's not a probably. It's a definite. Okay, definitely. <laughs> Charlie Kimball made uh, J.R. Hanover and crash. Oh, okay. Well, um, after that, we got a Ed Carpenter. It's an interesting profession like this. He sh- he should hang out with this Josh Farmer, help him build a new barn or something. <laughs> Why? Oh, Carpenter or New Garden to make a new garden. Oh, this is a good way. Oh, oh. oh. Joseph here, you he can help plant the fields. <laughs> 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 you mean Josh? Yes. His name was Josh. After, after that, the, the bottom of the list is a Sage Carum. Oh, and what? May, maybe Josh can plant some sage. The bottom of the list. I'm just saying, maybe uh, a, don't farmers plant sage? Sometimes. Not um, sure on like a large scale. Oh, this is going downhill fast. No, not a large scale at all, but I mean. Wouldn't it be on a large scale if you... It, it, never mind. Move it on. Yeah, the, uh, the, the, there's just a one crash today with Fernando Alonso. Just a lot of laps today. 
How many in total? 5,921 combined laps. Let's say that's a lot of laps. How they fit the, all that in? But I guess that's everybody at once, huh? Six hours. Yeah, it was, it was six and a half hours of practice. Frank would know he was sleeping the whole time. I was at work. <laughs> okay, fine. I was sleeping. But still, <laughs> I worked all night. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, what was that? It's, I, I don't know. I, I can't click on it. It's just it, just a comment. I got to view it on this Facebook. The Facebook. I'm afraid to click on it. While we were talking about farming stuff, <laughs> Josh, <laughs> I I I can't even click on that. I gotta like copy and paste. I think. Ah, it seems to be a picture of Mr. Ed. Oh, geez. Hi, Mr. Ed. Another Remember- white horse. <laughs> Man. The- does does it turn you on? No, no. Oh, God, no. That's inappropriate. Right. That's what you are, aren't you? That's garbage. Did you listen to last week's show, sir? Take that out. That's vulgar. I was going to, but uh, I left it in anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> it's funnier that way. Anyway. Yes, tomorrow is another six and a half hours of practice. Uh, I'm assuming Frank will probably be sleeping and Missy will probably be working. And that's acceptable for Missy to be working. We got no problem with that. Frank, though, is a piece of garbage and will probably be sleeping all day. That's because Frank will be working all night. Well, good thing you didn't actually go to Indy. Uh, how could I? They wouldn't let me. Even if they would, you'd just be working all the time. So? Wait. Yeah. Let's, okay, moving on. So, um, do you have the... So, are they the results from practice today? Yes. That was uh, today. Okay. And uh, we were going to do a show on Saturday after qualifying, right? Yes, we'll actually be doing the thing, little thing called the Hot Mic. Because it'll be on TV. Okay. Hot mic. And and what time is that tomorrow? Oh, I just had an image. I can't remember where I saved it. It's in my email. What is that on on your keyboard TV thingy? Oh, you mean the typewriter with a television on it? Yes. Yes, that. I mean, the the, the postal service isn't going to be around much longer. The, Practice. I prefer the Pony Express. Eleven to six p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. Yes, and then Saturday they got practice from eight thirty to nine thirty, and then qualifying all day from eleven a.m. to five p.m. On TV, just. NBC from three to five. So there's no dump, dump. There's no bump day this year, then, right? Nope. No, only thirty-three cars. Nobody gets bumped. We're lucky to get thirty-three. Yes, but then Sunday is more practice for just a half hour at eleven o'clock. Then qualifying for the fast nine will go from one to three, and then more practice after that. From three thirty to six, essentially final practice. I'm not sure they might have a practice on Monday, maybe not. But other than that, Carb Day will be the last time the cars will be on track. When's Carb Day? Next Friday. They normally practice up to Carb Day, don't 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 they? Or, no, uh, media yeah. day usually is on like the Thursday. They go out. There's usually a practice on Monday, then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, all media stuff, then Cobb Day and right. Legends Day. Right. Okay. That's it. Well, 
getting into the Indy 500 spirit. Come on, race is at 2.30. Is it? It's a little... Mm. Hey, it's normally at noon. Mm. Mm, strange. Well, different times. Well, at least I'll be able to be in and out of my procedure by then, so... All right. Get a um, spine installed. Yeah, yeah. Getting a new spine. Yep. I thought you said it was in September. Uh, when's Labor Day? September seventh. Oh, you know Memorial Day. That's what's got me all screwed up. Never mind. The Memorial Day is next year. You know the the next year's Indy five hundred is on yeah. memorial day weekend yeah. i'm so used to it being a like a something day weekend like holiday day weekend memorial day labor day they're so close but not really as far as meaning but name not even close either in my head though they are that's all that matters moving on <laughs> so who are you guys going to think is going to get going, going to get the poll I'm gonna say. Um, mm, I don't know. All right, very Poll really, you know, polls. Eh. Polls a death sentence in this race. <laughs> yeah, essentially. Not really. Most people who have won this race from, I think, is from, is from poll. Yeah, things like fourteen. Last year, it's true. Before that, it had been a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I my money's on a Takuma Sato. <laughs> Why? Why? It's fast. Sure. Fast today. We'll place second. Wow, it didn't even have to push anyone out of his way to get there. Crazy. Nope. So, Missy, Paul. Joseph Newgarden. J New. For the P1. Right on. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, I got my money on. Everybody knows who. Michael Mara or. Marco Andretti. So, um, <clears throat> all right. Um, any more news? Legit indie news guy? No, I think on, that's about it. I mean, on no. Twitter, it's legit indie news. At legit yes, yes, indie please, news. Please. Please follow legit indie card news guy on Twitter at legit indie news. There's not a whole lot there now, but. We will uh, be filling filling the these tubes on the internet. <laughs> the intertubes? Full of legitimate IndyCar news only. <laughs> I'm sure. All the presses of this typewriter with a television on it. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, thank you, thanks everybody, and uh, I will talk to you later. Click. Mm. Hey right, guys, what's that mm, thing? <laughs> <Is> that? <laughs> I mean, it's like you hanging up. Yeah. Huh? It hangs up on you. The phone goes. Mm. Oh, right, right, and, right. Okay. Yeah, you, you hung up. You heard the click, and then the dial tone. The guy with the stream yard who could put that sound. Never mind. Work on that. <laughs> it was funny though. It was good. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> the, the heck did you say that had me on the ground? <laughs> oh, I forget now. I, I, I don't. I don't know. I just got back. I had to go to the bathroom. I was like you. I had to go to the bathroom in the middle of the show, which then took five minutes. And then I, I was gonna come back with a corn dog. Eat that for about a minute and then disappear for another five minutes. Well, she doesn't, she can't be around corn dogs. What do you want me to do? I don't know what took so long. Do you know it's how big my Frank. house is? It's Frank. My house is huge. It takes me forever to get to the kitchen from here. Yeah. 
I had to go from the east wing to the west wing. Don't you know I'm rich? Rich. Hmm. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway. yeah tomorrow, tomorrow, no, there's uh, definitely going to be streaming a lot. I'm going to try to stream more tomorrow than we did today. I didn't really do a whole lot today, just because it was just playing practice. And But now that we got Fast Friday coming tomorrow. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, it sucks because I'll be working all day too. I got to work tonight and today or tomorrow. So I'm going to miss that. But but I'll, I mean, I'll be I'll be able to watch a lot of it on my phone. So yeah, yeah, yeah it'll be on NBC Sports Gold. Yep. All day. Long. One day of watching that is is worth the entire price of it. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah, it's worth it just for the month of May alone. Yeah. Or whenever well, you, you usually, yes. <laughs> hey, just throw it up. The, and it's it's cool because like I'm because I have Xfinity here and like, like I didn't just say into my remote Sports Gold and it pulls up NBC Sports Gold for me. So just watch it on the big screen and the surround sound. There you go. Since I can't actually be at the track. Missing any any news that's come that's come out that, that you've seen? No. It's been a slow week, actually. I mean, except for you know, like, like you know, I don't know. I think having Spencer Piggott on was was a was the highlight. Definitely, that was awesome. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. Big thanks to to Spencer for coming on. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened to the the sound on this thing. It was insane. It just kind of conked out. That, that was a first. Strange. Yep. Anyway, <clears throat> so um, I don't know. Um, uh, you have any stories coming out there, Josh? Or I mean, Jared? No, nope, that's, that's about all I got for uh, for tonight. I'm sure there, there'll be more to talk about tomorrow. How about you, farmer? Anything? Well, that, you know, put in the comments, and I'll blabber blabber it out. Uh, uh, Missy, where can I find everything at? That would be www.theindiesportscarpodcast.com. Right on. And um, yeah, so I guess uh, on that note, there, Jared. I mean, Missy. <laughs> on that note, you know that I know that. Mike's a piece of garbage. Oh, we got her to go with it. <laughs> Hell yeah. You're supposed to and, go with tuff, tuff. And five practice is going along. Swell, you know? <laughs> I got nothing. Missy, just go with tuff, tuff. No. Come on, you got to. You, no. you already said it. Nope. You want a piece of garbage, you got to go tuff, tuff. Nope. Come on. Nope. You're not going to do it? Nope. Come on, just, please, for me. Go on now. Tisk, tisk. <laughs> we got her. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to hit re- stop recording until you did it. <laughs> it's on recording. Yay. Yeah. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Well, um, we'll we'll be back with something tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday. Well, well Missy and Jared will be back with something tomorrow because I'll we'll definitely be driving north. Yeah, it, it, oh, it depends on the time. Uh, Mars are playing at three, so I'm trying. I, to, I just I'm gotta, gotta, I, gotta get home right away, and so then more the so, game, from a legit IndyCar news guy said that he is willing to step up and cover <laughs> tomorrow. How can you do? How, how does he care? have a cell phone? Uh, he, oh, okay. The, the correction is the email. How does he have email? <laughs> He's got one of those typewriters with a television on it. I know. I mean, you know, they were they, they were common, right? Yeah. Yeah, he sees everybody else with it. He, he just he took his typewriter and added a television in front of it, and now boom, he can send emails. Hmm. Righty. You sir are out of your mind. Yeah. That was funny. Yep. Thanks everybody for tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. Sorry about this. Sorry about the beginning um, of that. That was.